Next, this is awesome guys, we are going to sew the lapel. And to sew the lapel, we want to begin sewing from this back side of the lapel. To do that, I will use the segment sewing tool, click on one to start, hover the mouse over there, click one to place the sewing, and then click once again to sew that together. Next, I'm going to press on the space bar to simulate and press it once again to stop. I'm going to zoom in because we also want to sew right here, okay? So next I'm going to click one right there to start and then click once again right here. Right now it looks like I have a problem here. We want to adjust the color up a little bit so it's easy for us to sew. Let me switch to transform pattern tool. I'm going to press on the space bar to simulate here and I want to pull it up just a little bit and then press it once again to stop. So now I have these space between the color and the next. I'm going to select the segment sewing tool once again, click one to start and then click once again to sew that together. And as you can see right here, I only need to sew it one side and reflect two bows. Now I'm going to press on number two here. Let's switch the tool to transform pattern tool so it's easy for me to see. Next, we want to fold that lapel and create facing for it. To do that, we are going to first come over here to the vertical toggle menu and I want to click on that t-shirt icon, hover the mouse to the right and we want to select the show internal line, click on that. Next, I'm going to use the folding tool to fold that lapel, okay? To do that, I will go to the 3D toolbar and click on that fold arrangement tool. Then hover the mouse, when I see the blue line appear, click on it. Now I'm going to click on the green arrow and then drag it out. Okay, let me press number two here. Uh, let's see if I need to fold a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to press on the space bar to simulate. Okay, there it is. So next I'm going to press it once again to stop the simulation. Now I'm going to create the facing for the lapel. To create the facing, we want to make a copy this front bodice of the jacket. I will click one here, press on shift and then click one to the next front pattern, right click and I want to select layer clone under. After that, I will click one up here to place the patterns. Now I'm going to come over here and zoom in a little bit. Let's click one on the page to deselect. Next, I want to cut this line. Simply go to that transform pattern tool, click one on that line there. Okay. Now we have two internal lines. We want to delete one of them. So I'm going to click one right here and then press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Now I'm going to click one once again, right click and I want to select cut. And after that, I want to click one right here, press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete that part because we don't need it. I will do the same right here with the opposite pattern, right click and then select cut. After that, click on this piece here and then press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Okay, let me bring them down. Now I'm going to switch my tool to edit sewing tool here. So when I click on this sewing, as you can see right there, we literally don't have to sew all this. We only need to sew down here and right here. So to do that, I will use the segment sewing tool here. Click one right there and then click one right here and click one right here and then sew it to here. And I will come over here and then click one right there and then click one right here, the same. So as you can see right here, now the facing are on top of the lapel. Okay, so next I'm going to strengthen that top part too. Right click and then select strengthen and I'm going to simulate one more time here. Next, we are going to apply the fabric onto the garment. To do that, I will come over here to the library tab and double click on the fabric folder and I'm going to type in here knit and then press on enter or return. So I'm going to select this fleece, click on it and then drag and drop onto that fabric one. Now we apply that fabric on to the pattern. I'm going to my key select, right click and then unstrengthen. So it doesn't look like we change much. However, though the fabric property is totally different. I'm going to go in and change the color to simply a creamy color. So click on the fabric and come down here. And that's perfect. Next, I'm going to click on apply and close here. Okay, 
we will fix this issue. The problem is we have a fabric inside out. Next, we want to sew the zipper onto the front jacket here. Let me hide this internal line. Simply go to the t-shirt icon, click on that and click on the show or hide internal line here to hide. Then I'm going to strengthen the patterns first before I'm going to sew the zipper, okay? I'm going to come over here and then we want to remove the front sewing. And after that, I'm going to press on the space bar to start and then press on once again to stop the simulation. Now I'm going to begin sewing the zipper. Okay, I will come over here to the zipper tool, click on it and then come over here. Simply click one right there to place my zipper and then hover the mouse down here until I see that point appear on to that zipper point right there. If I look at in the 2D window, double click to place the zipper and I will do the same right here. Let's zoom in a little bit here and I'm going to click roughly right here and then come down, hover the mouse down here and then double click to place the zipper. Next, I'm going to press the space bar here to simulate. After that, we want to change the zipper pull as well as the zipper tape. First, I'm going to press on the space bar to stop the simulation. Then I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to switch my tool to select slash move tool. Click on that and then click on the zipper pull. And I'm going to come over here to the property editor. And we want to change the slider to this one here. And now I'm going to change the puller to the circle right here. So if I looked at the website here, so right there, that's a zipper puller that I use. I use the metal circle. So next I'm going to come back to blue and then I want to change the color as well as the metal effects onto the zipper. To do that, I will come over here to the property editor once again and we want to change material to metal, okay? So scroll down under material, I'm going to change that to metal render only and I also want to change the color here click on this color. Let me click on this color window and I want to use this eyedropper tool. Click on that to select and click one right there on top of that fabric to pick the color. And then I'm going to press on the escape on the keyboard to get out the eyedropper tool. And then I'm going to click on apply and close. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit further here. I'm going to click on that zipper and then I will come over here and I want to change the tape, zipper tape to match the color. So simply click on that tape there and then scroll down, see this color, click on it, and then click on this eyedropper tool and simply click on that fabric once again. And now I'm going to press on the escape key on the keyboard. Then I'm going to click on apply and close. So now we have the zipper tape matching the color of the garment. Finally, we want to flip the facing to normal. To do that, I will come over here and mark key select both of the facing and then come to this 3D window, right click and we want to select flip normal. And there it is. I'm going to click one on the page here to deselect and press on the space bar once again to simulate and press it to stop. I'm going to unstrengthen. And there you have it, we are finished. We had a lot of fun sewing this beautiful jacket. If you have any question or suggestion, please leave a comment below. And if you love this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and follow me on Encoder Fashion for more awesome tips like this. Thanks so much for watching guys.